Welcome to the fourth and final day of the Chainsaw Carving Championship in Chetwin. It's been an amazing event full of carvetastic fun. And in this update, we're going to show you footage from the Quick Carve and Auction, which happened at 2 o'clock. Following that, we'll show you individual shots of every single piece completed. And then to top it off with, of course, the announcements of the winners of this competition. But for now, we're going to speak with some judges on how they're going to critique this very stiff and tight competition. I'm, I, I guess I'm kind of uh, partial to uh, when they're blowing the logs apart and putting them back together and making something out of it because I've been in this business for 30 years and I never saw that until about five years ago. And it's really something. It changed everything for the craft, which is awesome to me. Finishing texture. We don't want to see everything the same, top, middle, and bottom. We want to see different shades and different colors. Correctness of form, use of material. This wood is so expensive and brought all the way over from your west coast. They like to have the artists use their whole wood up and not throw half the log away. And content and clarity, those are some of the basic things they look at. When I walk in, one of my favorite things is the wow factor and how they present it. I mean, that just gives you goosebumps when you see some. As I walk around here this weekend, Chetwin is like the Super Bowl of North America. Started about 11 years ago, and it's been building, building. As you look around, and you've been filming all week, some of these top-notch carvers from the world are here. There's a waiting list to be invited to this. I finally got to be, come up here and be a head judge at this. Yes! <laughs> this is my third time judging here, and this one is just scary. There's, there's some pieces, I mean, it's really, really close. Really close. Wants you to dig safely throughout the piece. So please remember to grab the phone before you grab the shovel. Please
I say Chet, you say wind. Chet! Win. Chet! Win. All right! It's like the two ends of this area never get to bid on anything. So let's get into first, second, and third place. So the third place winner this year is Jeff Samudowski. Oh, it feels great. Uh, I was just glad to be able to finish. Uh, I, I took third place, which is uh, more than uh, excellent. Uh, there was so much great competition. I didn't know how it was going to play out. I was happy to place, uh, place third, uh, but I think everybody's a winner here. Second place winner will also get a saw from Husqvarna, so I would like to call up second place winner will be Jordan Anderson. He was parting number 12. Well, you know, everybody wants, uh, you know, first place in a competition because that's where the big money is and stuff, but, you know, I mean, you get respect from the carvers and the people uh, from the town of Chatwind or from the district of Chatwind, and it's it's just a, a an unmistakable feeling. I mean, it's uh, I feel so elated right now to be um, honored in such a way and and be a part of such an amazing event. It's just incredible. Looks like they're not. So we're just going to call up first place winner this year will be Chris Foltz. Yeah, yeah, pretty crazy to uh, to win Chet when it's, it's just ridiculous. So uh, pretty awesome, a lot of work, and then to get to, you know to get to be the one to get to get the prize, you know, or one of them is uh, really special. And all we can say from Chet when from the bottom of our heart is thank you so much for coming every year, and we much appreciate it. Our little town loves you guys. You are. You're our celebrities, so I'd like to thank everybody at this time for coming again, and hopefully next year uh, it'll be bigger and better. It's always bigger and better every year, so again, I'd like to thank you all for coming.